I was probably one of the first people to go on the OTT space yeah. and people used to say are kya kar raha hai tu film film filme karta hai kya OTT kar raha hai stardom is not in your hand uh, but I crave more uh, validation from an audience I crave more of an audience to know my name and to know who I am mm-hmm. um, and that's what I want now when I watch somebody like a Pankaj Tripathi who I worked with on yeah. Gurgaon even after all the success he'll show up in something random because yeah, you know random, like you would like Pankaj is maybe I, I think I've learned that the way I've been able to just shrug failure off my shoulders mm-hmm. i can shrug success off my shoulders too so i'm ready for it now so bring it on let's talk about ott tell me how big a role the ott has played in your life because uh, there are a lot of actors who have come up through this platform this mm-hmm. platform is a boon for us mm-hmm. right we've seen so much of talent like like we rightly said vikrant you ali ali fazal's first movie, uh, first web series came on youtube yeah. from there he was yeah, recognized man. like you man you've done so much on it yeah. uh, tell me what's what's ott for you what ott has done for akshay and are you going to pursue that is ott oh definitely will always be on the oh definitely you can't uh, you have to know where you came from <laughs> and you can't ignore where you come from so uh, you know i think this if the ott wasn't there i mean flesh just for like a straight yeah. example flesh oh was God. a show i played oh uh, a transgender uh, flesh trade owner it was such a mean mm-hmm. horrible ruthless violent character um that was produced by sidin mamta anand mm-hmm. you know and then they gave me fighter you know oh, wow. so so look at that it's like a direct thing um and i remember i was probably one of the first people to go on the ott space right. and people used to say are kya kar raha hai tu film film filme karta hai kya ott kar raha hai mm. but the whole di- digitalization of india has changed india Correct. i mean look at now you know we pay our rickshaw with gpay oh my god you know, everything has become sort of so seamless and 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 that leads to transparency that leads to merit based uh, reward mm-hmm. um and that's what the ott has been for me Mm-hmm. you know and for a lot of actors it gave us an ex- a chance to show our talent mm-hmm. uh, which we would not have gotten otherwise yeah i i agree because that power of power that we had the bollywood had you know the bigger powers who didn't allow people to come to enter it's a bank karke rakha tha right now web ott has open spaces for yep, you guys yep, right yep, and yep, yep. i'm so fortunate right now for this thing what's happening right now and to see you guys grow because i've seen your journey yes, so yes, well right now yes. what is akshay craving right now the commercial success because we all know you're a great actor we all know that critics love you as well yeah. we've all seen your work in ott yeah. uh are you craving commercial uh, success if yes are you equipped to handle all that right now because being an actor is a responsibility but being a superstar is a bigger responsibility the brand comes and with you you hit the nail on the yeah, head yeah because it's like he famously said he's working for a brand sharukh khan is not working for himself yeah. are you prepared for that right what now what a great great way to put that question it's very important the second half of what you said are you equipped to handle it so i'll start with your first thing what am i craving um yes uh, uh, you're right the i've ha- i've had a lot of critical acclaim i don't think i think every most of my dud films i've always been appreciated for my work um but what was missing was a box office mm-hmm. now i've tasted a little bit of that with fighter mm-hmm. um but now ever since i tasted it is like tasting blood i want more mm-hmm. you know when i when i saw the film with a, with an audience and then post the film i was kind of mobbed i wanted more of it you know mm-hmm. and and I, my brother asked me how are you so relaxed you were being tossed from one place to the other i mean like 500 people at regal cinema calling your name and asking for a picture and he was like you looked so relaxed in that crowd like they were grabbing you and pulling you and you know you know all over the place and i said i've been craving it for 14 years okay. it was that moment of like man finally thank you and i remember looking at each person who asked for a picture in the eye and making eye contact with them and saying thank you for taking this photo with me because I, when you get something the hard way you just value it that much more mm-hmm. um so i'm craving more of that you know th- these things are not in your hand stardom is not in your hand uh, but i crave more uh, validation from an audience i crave more of an audience to know my name and to know who i am mm-hmm. um and that's what i want now i think earlier it was just like mera kitchen chal jaye acting se i'll be happy then it was like you know i just want to play some good roles mm-hmm. uh, i want to be appreciated for my acting and now i'm in a place of i know that i've seen so much failure mm-hmm. that i'm equipped to handle the success oh, wow. you know and i think i i think i've learned that the way i've been able to just shrug failure off my my shoulders mm-hmm. i can shrug success off my shoulders too so i'm ready for it now so bring it on and what about being grounded because being a star you need to have that groundness right are you yeah. equipped for that as well i think the amount of failure and rejection yeah. jo aadmi rock bottom chucho ka hai na mm-hmm. usko aap uh, aap grounded hi rahega wo aadmi kyunki now you can't change me you know i've seen 
such lows and i you know i keep i keep comparing my career to you know in the army people in the trenches protecting their borders you know like it's the worst place to be that the, the trenches are the dirtiest place i've been there right. you know i feel like most of my career i've been there just trying to pop out of that mm -hmm. you know uh, and and <coughs> going from one film to the other film the one, one series to another series working mm -hmm. with one director to another director facing so much rejection so much failure um that now success can't it can't do anything to me it can't change my mind at all you know so i'm i'm so equipped for it it makes me really happy to see you see you and talk to you like this yeah. uh, tell me what's your mission as a mission as an actor all right uh, just like you we were talking about the brands right salman sharuk they are superstar they'll choose movies and everything according to their brand right uh, as an actor you must also have a mission right uh, and how will you choose right now because you've tasted the blood that you said right yeah. you you're craving for more right yeah. now yeah. Uh, will you work for the brand or are you going to choose your project the way you were choosing before or something's going to change right now it's kind of hard to change because now i've been in a in a you know muscle memory is a funny thing your 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 brain kind of gets wired a certain way so i've been sort of training my brain to to pick up projects on instinct you know as opposed to being like this is good for my career is that good i, I don't strategize so much i just go out and work mm -hmm. um and you can't change that i think there's so many you know when i watch somebody like a pankaj sripathi who i worked with on yeah. gurgaon even after all the success he'll show up in something random yeah that's true you know <laughs> like you would like pankaj is maybe and that teaches me that you know actors like us we're not uh, you know we we're, we're meant to just keep showing up and keep entertaining the audience and playing different parts mm -hmm. and i'm more interested in in the actor in me than the star in me mm -hmm. you know um uh, so i want to keep feeding that you know i think that stays for a longer time Particularly makes me really happy media. man yeah yeah thank you and i wish you do something more and i see you on the 70 mm and i shout thank for you. you thank you man. and thank hopefully you. we'll see you do bigger roles oh, and a solo film certainly. and we'll be talking about it yeah maybe. of course one Very day we'll soon. be sitting here talking about my <laughs> less manifested right yeah, yeah. less manifested <laughs> okay. absolutely absolutely but thank you so much for chatting with me actually it's thank amazing you, man. man it's amazing Such got a lot man. of good insight from you and thank i hope you stay humble and grounded like this and success thank you thank you and if i ever if i'm ever not grounded you please call me out on it i will need that i don't think so that time will come I don't think you it's going you either. can see me uh I can see in eyes you know yeah. I can see yeah. what what a man can do yeah. so your answers really made me sure that you you're going to stay grounded also awesome. for that thank you bro <laughs> thank right. you man